Hi, I am Jia Yuhua from King's College London. I am going to share with you our solution for this year's Bratz and Painting Challenge, which is unleash the power of 2D pre-trained model for 3D T1 weighted brain MRI and painting. First, let me introduce our team members. Yang is a PhD student at King's College London. Also with our three supervisors, Alejandro Granados, Sebastian Arcelin, and Rachel Sparks. Our approach is based on the LAMA model. LAMA is an in-painting model designed for natural image and painting tasks. Specifically, it contains an encoder, a decoder, and the fast Fourier convolution residual bottleneck. Fast Fourier convolutions allow for a receptive field that covers an entire image even in the early layers of the network. This helps the model generate in-painted images with high fidelity. Besides, the compound loss helps output images achieve the consistency of global structures and shapes. Furthermore, image masks are generated on the fly, which increases the training set diversity. Benefits from the aforementioned designs, LAMA has a strong domain generalization ability and is able to generate reasonable in paintings on unseen domains. For instance, we only use the places dataset to train LAMA, all images in this dataset are natural images. However, LAMA can generate plausible outputs on histology images and brain MRI. This indicates that LAMA can utilize the surrounding textures for image and painting regardless of the content. Given the awesome in painting results achieved by LAMA, we aim to fine-tune the pre-trained LAMA model so that it can be adapted to the Bratz and painting task. To maintain the strong image recovery ability of LAMA, we freeze weights of the encoder and fast Fourier convolution bottleneck and only tune the decoder weights with a small learning rate. Our model accepts three view images as input and predicts the in-painted images on each view. Then we simply average the intensity values across all views and use a morphological closing operation to reduce artifacts. For the dataset, 1251 brain MRIs were registered to the SRI24 template. We randomly select 125 cases as the local validation set and 1101 cases as the training set. For each training case, we extract slices from three views. Then all slices are padded and resized to 256 by 256. The in-painting mask is generated on the fly but does not overlap with the unhealthy part. For each validation case, we utilize the healthy mask for the performance evaluation. We use Atom W Optimizer for model fine-tuning and set the learning rate to 10 to the minus 5. The batch size is 8 and we train the model for 20 epochs. The loss function stays the same with the original LAMA model. Here are the quantitative results. Our method outperforms the original Big Llama model on MAE, PSNR, and SSIM. This is because predictions of Big Llama are slice independent. It cannot achieve spatial consistency across different views. By introducing the morphological closing operation, the performance is further improved. Here are the visualization results of different methods on the test set. Model weights of autoencoder and PIX, 2 PIX, 3D are provided by the challenge organizer. We can find that these two models tend to give fuzzy predictions on voided areas. This is because the model is not powerful enough or is not well trained for sufficient epochs. We also train the partial convolution 3D, and we find that the results are strange and even worse than the previous two models. The unpainted areas show discontinuity to the surrounding background. For our method, the results are much better. The transition area is seamless and the appearance is similar to the background areas. However, the brain structure is not well preserved since we do not introduce the interslice consistency into the fine tuning. This will be solved in our future study. Thanks for watching.